Assalamu alaikum friends. Okay, now we are here on uh, slides. As we know, our topic is wiring, lugs, gland, and cable link. So, uh, this is the picture. Here you can see that uh, ring type, fork type, pin type, and uh, these kind of flanks are flange type also. Here you can see that one. This is the type of our lugs. So these uh, lugs should be crimp type and it's a uh, tint copper or copper. So this is the lugs. Okay, main important thing that one in uh, industrial area lugs should be UL listed. This is the question sometimes they ask. So make sure the UL listed, otherwise non-UL listed in local market is very cheap. Uh, but it's not the UL listed one. Okay, this one is the here. Uh, the main point is 120 mm or 4 nut is uh, for size of that cable should be two whole lugs as you see in the pictures. Uh, we can use sometimes secure type connector also can uh, that one we can use it and these all the things should be UL listed. Manufacturer should be approved. And main thing that one same during material receiving we have to check the manufacturer uh, that when that should be approved or uh, that one okay so this is the cable lugs now we are here on cable glands cable gland material for electrical should be uh, that one is uh, metal and uh, we can use pvc so for armor cable or hazards area applications, we use some uh, cable gland. We will discuss on that one. And PVC gland we can use in non-armored or flexible inside where there is no any hazards and especially inside the rooms, we can use also the PVC cable glands. This is the cable glands picture and the downside which one you can see this is the barrier type as we discussed in our first video, the barrier type demand from the Aramco. In electrical, we use normally brass type or nickel plated. In instrument, they are asking stainless steel. Cable gland should be barrier type. Cable gland shall have NPT thread. Yeah, this one in the second picture, you can see the threads. This is the NPT type. And this is the more important inclusive environment, uh, like in offshore or some area, which one is very hazard or inclusive environment, then cable gland should have a shroud pvc slip or we can use also anti corrosion pvc tape now here the uh, is the cable selection cable selection the what is the cable actually this is the first one is the definition of the cable uh, a group of individual insulated conductor is called cable uh, here in uh, we are all they are allowed in industrial area especially in the gulf uh, countries the main uh, manufacturer manufacturing as per the standard of international like NEC or IEC. So low voltage NEC cable shall be uh, rated like 600 to 1000 volt. It should be written on the cable and shall have a minimum temperature of 90 degree in the dry case and 75 degree on the wet condition. And it should be a uh, flame tested or uh, we can say fire resistance uh, is insulation, uh, upper insulation. So upper insulation should be, we can say that it's a UL listed. Okay, the standard numbers is already here given. LV wire like uh, which one we use normally for wiring. This is uh, THHN or THW and this one the UL listed 44. IEC if the cable manufacturing uh, design as per the IEC then the 60502-1. This is the manufacturing design of that one cable. And there in the IEC cable, the temperature rating of 85 degree, and it should be uh, flame tested also. And flame testing, uh, the IEC regarding that number is 06032-3. So this is the in the question they can ask what is the NEC cable minimum temperature. So the question is here. Sometimes they can ask the temperature of the cable. So this is the selection of cable we can uh, say that one no voltage uh, wire like uh, regarding to IEC that is the number of that one and there is the temperature minimum temperature also mentioned in this 
line armored cable can use for direct buried and in cable tray and armored cable can use only in conduits so the depth of cable it's already discussed in the part one okay this is the same an armored cable can use if it's written on the insulation of that cable is it's a suitable for direct buried cable can use with out ray or conduit if it's connecting to motor or some any device up until 1 uh, 1.8 meter uh, this is the conductor size uh, for the cable which one is new standard or as per the nec they are saying in uh, especially aramco 600 and below that one for control 1.5 mm actually in the previous standard it was 2.5 mm and for power uh, before it's 4 mm scale but now they reduce it's 2.5 mm scale so other this for 5 kb 15 kb or other this all here mentioned so you can go through this one uh, this is the depth it's already discussed uh, but in the slide if you want to prepare your own notes you can write that one how much depth required for low voltage medium voltage and high voltage cables okay here we are on the cable segregation for instrument we follow the ns noise sustainability levels so this is another big topic we can prepare one another video for only for this particular purpose for electrical same voltage we can use in same cable tray if power and control then the minimum distance 300 mm this is general requirement for that one so for underground which one sometimes we use pvc then the until one and a half inch pvc conduit we use the spacer for uh, that one is the 25 mm and more than that two inch or more than that we use 50 50 mm space uh, spacer this one in the pvc you can see the spacer size so 50 mm means that is so 50 mm mean the distance between one pipe to another pipe it's a 50 mm even in the cables uh, underground which one we will pull out on the cable link that one also for mv or high voltage from one cable to another cable we will keep the distance like a 50 mm in the, uh, this is in that range for crossing uh, if different there is a different voltage then up until one meter we will keep the distance so in this video this is the just uh, for electrical uh, this ns level we will discuss in another video regarding wiring and feed all on in the junction box uh, i will make an other part because it will become more long video so thank you if you have any question you can write on comment